morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is Butch Hill. I'm with Gatling Gun Pipeline. I'd like to introduce you to you this morning, the string well machine. We are going to revolutionize the pipeline industry. We're going to streamline the process of load, stage, string, and well. With one piece of equipment that can do it all, the string well machine. See you on the right away. Exactly how it works. One guy can load this. This represents a 40 foot joint of pipe. So a, a, a forklift operator can do it two ways. He can grab a load of pipe, whatever fits on his forks, set it up here on top. So he sets the pipe up here. Remember the fingers are here that won't allow any pipe to roll in. And then he can get out of his forklift, come up here and roll one joint in at a time, just like that. And then and he'll rotate the, the distribution wheel one slot roll the next joint in so he'll rotate distribution wheel he'll have another pipe that's in his load of pipe roll it over on top of the fingers the fingers lower it in now you've got two pipes in the distributor wheel you'll do this process till it's completely filled another way of doing it is if you have a, a forklift that has the capability of grabbing a joint you can actually grab a joint set it over in the slot on top of the fingers and they'll lower it in so you don't actually have to get up on top. You can climb up here, walk up and down the top, grab your lanyard from your harness, clip it on a on a, a, a guide wire that's rated, and clip it on a guide wire so you got fall protection and help guide these pipes down in the slot, rotate the distributor wheel, guide the next one down in, rotate the distributor wheel till you get the whole thing completely loaded. One of the features also is in between these distributor wheels, there's a a locking mechanism that'll block and slide over the top of the conveyor so that you can continually load this thing without having to worry about that opening at the bottom. So the pipe will come and then hit the block and it'll just keep going. There won't be access to the discharge conveyor. So here we have two joints loaded in a string well machine ready to go in the field. Drive to the field. What we have is one joint. It's 40 foot already set up. Uh, the guy driving could stop about 8 to 10 feet away from the, the previous pipe he just laid. Eight to 10 feet is optimal. That's what you kind of want to keep in mind. Uh, you got a little jib here. That's going to be about seven and a half feet. And you can slightly raise or slightly lower, you know, one click at a time with the come along, if that's necessary. So when you guide it out of the string wall machine, one guy will probably take it on his hip, hip, and then you'll raise and lower the come along until it gets just right. And then you'll put a clamp on it and weld it. So we'll demonstrate that. We, we have them. We have two in the wheel, so the wheel will be completely loaded. This thing spins crazy fast. So I'm gonna try to slow it down. So we got one, one drops in the conveyor. So basically, when the blocks are gone, you can discharge your first pipe in the conveyor. Then you lower the conveyor, and then the pipe, like I said, it'll come out on its own. You'll have to probably uh, regulate the speed. So one guy will be in the back kind of guiding the pipe over to the other pipe and then you'll make your final adjustment. So there you have a pipe ready to weld. So you got two guys that can weld. They're both certified welders. They're both licensed drivers so they can do either or. So one of the advantages is if it's break time. So currently, you know, when it's break time, everybody kind of shuts down a little early because some of the processes stop a little early. So you get a little pre-break in there. Then by the time the last guy stops down is kind of when the clock starts. In this application, when the two guys are working together, one can go in the front, take a break, and then vice versa, they can they can alternate. The other guy comes back, never need to shut down the welding. There's two welding machines at the front. You run them all the time. When you take a break, one guy can go take a break, the other guy keep welding. So that's the application. So what we're going to do is talk about the numbers. I'll revert back to this from time to time. So some of the savings, so we're gonna, I did a time on tool study, I'm 30 years oil and gas, upstream oil and gas. So I've run the numbers, existing pipeline versus this method. This is as streamlined as you could possibly get. There's no way you could get any more streamlined than taking, encapsulating the pipe, the pipe's not touching any, anything, it's coming out here and you're dropping, just drive, drop and weld, move 40 feet, drive, drop and weld. It's that continuous process over and over. So. We're going to run the numbers. So some of the savings, some of the differences on the right-of-way, big difference on the right-of-way. Currently, it's about 50 feet. 
sometimes 75 feet for turnouts. So the 50 feet's needed because you got side booms with booms, so you got to be this far away with the boom. Your, your, your work is next to your, your welding truck and next to your side boom. Welding truck's got to go around the side boom. So there's a big reason for 50 feet. You can do for less, but then you get into that daisy chain waiting on him, waiting on him, and you're going to slow down your, your productivity. So we're saying 50 feet is optimal on the current process. And we're saying with the string well machine, 20 to 25 feet is optimal. Because eight foot box, you don't need but 20 to 25 feet, still got room for a ditch and a spool pile. So the big savings, the big savings is gonna be number two, load stage of string. Currently, load stage of string is described like this. You go to a pipe yard, you've got a couple ways you can load a truck. You can either load it in layers strap it down or you can load it in a pyramid strap it down however you strap it down when you unstrap it that forklift when he picks it up he's got to have control of all that you unstrap so when you set it down on the right of way there's not a bunch of loose pipe rolling around on the back of the truck or on the forklift it's all got to be nice and neat and controlled setting it down the next group set down and when you unstrap it and when you strap it it's got to be set up so when you it's friendly to unstrap in the field and then you take it and you put it into pods then you take one joint at a time and you string it out from the pod to the right of way stringing it out so this this is a lot of little handoffs basically it's a lot of little half a day maybe a full day a lot of little handoffs uh, and it's it's getting guys in from over there from over there to get this typically on a load stage and string eight people touch a pipe so that means uh, we just use time on tools so we only use the, the guy and the equipment for the amount of time. So this, this analogy is time on tools. So it's just for the guy and the equipment, just when they're needed, not a whole half a day or a full day when it's only needed for a shorter amount of time. So with the string well machine, three guys. One guy can load it, two guys in the field to execute, drive, drop, and weld. Or just drive and drop if you're just staging. Big savings is going to be the welding. So if you take an existing small group of welding, of welders, a pipe gang, they can probably get, you know, maximum output 100 inches. Maximum output, you know, you're all going to tell me how many times you've done it. You probably haven't done it consistently. We think with the string weld machine, the fact that you don't really have to ever shut down, the fact that you can do it with two guys, uh, and they're interchangeable, shouldn't, no reason to stop for breaks or lunch, you can do it at night. One of the features, you got big lights on the back, lights on the front. And one thing about working at night, you kind of have tunnel vision. So you mainly keep your, your mind on your work. There's no distractions around you because you can't see around. You want to see what's in the light. So you can work at night when welding. So let's say, and you don't have the heat and the humidity when you're wearing the leather jackets and the FR. So a small mainline pipe gang you do 100 inches with a string well machine we're saying you can do 150 that's 33 percent more we're saying you can do 15 10 inch welds versus a much smaller a much larger uh, pipe gang doing 10 10 inch welds that's running the numbers let's look at the savings so the productivity is an area of savings and that's your time or the schedule so uh, from number one right away, we don't need 50 foot, only need 25, we're going to say 50 foot, 50% 50 productivity on the yellow iron. That means that you're going to get it done half the time and the yellow iron's going away. So all that big heavy equipment it takes to build a right away, that expensive heavy equipment done out of there, half the time. 50 foot, 20 to 25 foot is perfect for this size of application. Uh, load stage and string, here's a phenomenal amount of savings, not all those little handoffs. Not waiting on them to set up skids. Not waiting on them to unload a truck to get you know side boom over there. So what we're saying is just the time on tool study. Just the time on tool study, you're going to save 50 percent, 50 percent in productivity and 60 percent labor and equipment. Let me describe that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one joint on the right of way. Currently, that's what you do. The string weld this piece of equipment. It's going to put two joints in the same time it took you to put one joint on. Not only are you going to do it twice as fast, you're going to save 60% in this joint and this joint. So there's two joints down the same time as it takes you to currently put one joint, and then you're going to save 60% in 
in cost on each one of those joints. That is phenomenal. So this part of the load stage and string is critical. Not a bunch of handoffs. That's not even part of the equation. Not a bunch of handoffs. You've got a streamlined machine that's going to drive, drop, weld, drive, drop, weld, drive, drop, weld. And it is very simplistic, very easy to load, no hang-ups. Uh, it's eight foot wide. You don't need a bunch of right of way. So let's move on. So number three, welding. So we're saying normal process, 100 inches. String weld machine with just two guys, we're going to get 150 inches. So 150 inches is basically 15 10-inch welds. So we're going to say that's 33% on the schedule or productivity. And we're going to say 45% using this piece of equipment it's got two welding machines you got your water buffalo you know your gearbox and your motor and uh, toolbox full of uh, consumables and tools so with the labor and equipment self-contained all you need versus side boom welding trucks water truck all of that gone if you add up the productivity you're going to save about 45 percent we'll get into that in a minute if you add up the labor and equipment cost on just these two tasks. So the 45%, let's talk about the 45% for productivity. So I took an eight month schedule, a job that we that we did. You know, I'm a scheduler estimator. That's what I've made my living at for 30 years. Project manager, construction manager. So I took an existing schedule, eight months. I put this type of savings on those three main tasks and went from eight months to six months. Let me show you what that means. So we knocked two months off the schedule. So we knocked two months off the schedule for that 45% savings in productivity. That means no project manager. <laughs> That's a ton of money. No equipment, no pickup trucks, no foreman, no welders, no craft, no side booms, no side boom operators, nothing for two months. So let's see, that's thousands of dollars. Let me see, thousands of dollars if you knock two months off with this type of savings, no, that's, that's uncompetable. Uncompetable. If you've got this, you own the market. No one else could compete with that type of savings. Can't compete. Now, for the remainder six months, there's still an enormous savings here. You're, you're not saving anything on the, on the right of way, but you're saving 60% on the load stage and string and 45% on the welding application. Everything is self-contained. It's drive, drop, and weld. It's all right there. Now, let me, let me tell you. Uh, I know we use a lot of coated pipe in the field. So all of this is going to have a buffer. Everything, you know, the tabletop, when the pipe rolls across, will have a buffer. All the segments, as they cradle the pipe, has a buffer. When it rolls it to the bottom, there's a stationary, a stationary side, and then there's going to be a slow-moving side that rolls the pipe to the bottom. All has a buffer. Till it drops onto the conveyor. The conveyor is made out of rubber, no buffer needed. But we're going to get your pipe out on a right of way that's coated with fewer dings than what you're dealing with now. So you got a pipe, a coated pipe that's out there with virtually no dings, another pipe coming out of the chute with no dings ready for drive, drop, and weld. So the savings, the lean application, uh, the, the, the fewer people that's touching the pipe, uh, it's, it's dramatic. Uh, it's, it's unreal to think that you could load, stage, string, weld with three guys. <laughs> Unrealistic. Three guys, load, stage, string, run all your mainline pipe. You can even do it at night, speed up productivity. This is, this, this is going to revolutionize. It's going to absolutely revolutionize the pipeline industry. Uh, we are going to streamline load stage string and well. We're going to streamline. It's all self-contained. Everything is here that you need. You might have someone to fill up the fill up the welding machines and the water buffalo. Everything's ready to go. W one of the things that probably would work best if you had three. So you got two guys either working towards each other or working in the same direction with staggered starts, and then you got a guy filling one of these up as you go. A string weld machine getting getting pipe loaded in it, and you got two discharging pipe in the field. So you're always keeping one in circulation. So that would probably be the best 
But one of the things about this, there's no stopping. <laughs> there's no waiting on someone. There's no, oh, we got to wait on the side boom to get over here and bring in that joint, you know, none of that. So we can put 32 eight inch pipe in there, take it out to the field and execute drive, drop and weld and then move forward 40 feet, repeat the process, not waiting on anybody, not ever waiting on anybody, no reason to shut down. It's, it's all self-contained. It can load with one guy. You can drive, drop and weld with two guys and it's a streamlined and it's ready to go. We're on patent pending right now, and uh, all I can say from here is it was revolutionizing the pipeline industry, without a doubt. So what I'd like to do is let you look at some of the numbers, and I want you to understand, you know, if you want, if you want to be a part of this, if you have the same understanding of what the, the process is now versus how this is definitely going to revolutionize, it's all self-contained, it's a very lean application, three guys, now three guys can load, stage, string, and weld with three guys. That's almost impossible. Show me an application they're doing that now. So what I want you to do, look this over, understand the numbers, reserve now. You want to get started in the pipeline industry, if you're not yet sure, I'm telling you, we'll come out there, we'll help you get through this. We can guide you through the process of, of load, stage, string, and weld, and the savings, the savings, phenomenal, unmatchable. We'll help you with your estimating. We'll help you with your scheduling. Get online. Order now. Reserve it. Let's get the backlog going. We need to get this to you. You get started on the right away, we'll get this on the road. Hey, I got Demetrius behind the camera. I'm Butch Hill. See you on the right away.